Hey guys, welcome back to the card review series, and you knew I was going to be looking at this card, because, oh my god, this card, though. This card, you can't eat them. You can't eat them! <sighs> We're looking at Apocalypse Killer, because uh, it's like this deck totally needed something like this. So, it is an Earth Machine effect, level 10, 3000 attack, 2600 defense. It effects reads, cannot be special summon, must be normal summon slash set by tripping three Clipput monsters. This card was normal summoned, it is unaffected by spells and traps, and the uh, activated effects of monsters that have lower original levels or ranks than this card's level. All special mo special summoned monsters on the field lose 500 attack and defense. Once returned, you can activate the effect your opponent sends one monster from their side of the field or in their hand to the graveyard. So, this card's broke. The, this card is broken. By the definition of broken, it is broken. And... I'm going by the standard definition, and by the standard definition of broken, I mean because of the existence of the card, the format of the game will will or has been changed. So in that definition, Soul Charge, that's broken. The game before and after Soul Charge is different. You know, decks that weren't as good have become better. You know, winning by Soul Charge, that's become a thing. Soul Charge. Def by definition of uh, broken, hands. Hands have totally, you know, changed how we played, changed how we think. So that's, you know, it's pretty broken play. This, this is, to this is totally going to change how we play, how we think, how we react, what we side. This card will change it. Because I can't, th meta-wise, meta-wise, I can't think of a way to take out this freaking card unless you're playing Blue Jeans. If, unless you're playing Blue Jeans, you're pretty much fucked unless you can get out a Star Eater, and that's, that's the only two meta calls I can think of: either whipping out a Star Eater or playing Blue Jeans. If you don't do either one of those two with your deck, then you're pretty much fucked because this card is going to beat you down to death, and it's going to be over because that's how powerful this card is. Like, what were they thinking? You know? Or what's another way that you method that you can take this out? Uh, I guess if you play a warrior deck, you can make Excalibur, because you'd summon Excalibur, he would go down to 1500 because of uh, this monster's effect, but then you use his effect to attach to, he gains his original attack, so he'd go up to 35, so he would be stronger than this. But, you know, unless you you can summon out a 3000 beater, good luck. You know, good freaking luck, because, oh my god, this is going to be the shit. Cause that's how it is. It's just like, wow, okay. So, you just summon all this shit, and you're fucked. 3,000. 3,000! Unaffected by spells and traps, and activated effects of monsters that ha that are lower than its original level rank. So, pretty much everything under the sun. Except for Evel. <laughs> if I summon Terror and Wipe, you're dead. If I summon Ultimate Nightmare and I attack into you, you're dead. So, yeah. But you know what also makes this deck even more powerful? Because this deck, now this deck just has another freaking, just a freaking tool on their belt. And that was kind of a pun, because, you know, tool. But being able to use the Monarchs, that's strong. Being able to summon this, that's strong. Being able to play Skill Drain, that's strong. And... This deck will definitely be meta. I think that this is the first Pendulum deck. You know? And, you know, I've seen a ton of people talk about it. And they're just like, Oh, you know, the cost of tributing three, you know, clip up monsters. Oh, that's totally worth it. That's totally worth the cost. You know? You know, they neg, but it's totally worth it. If anybody's been seeing clip ups being played lately, you know that when they're tributed, they go back to the extra deck, right? Because when I tribute them for Monarchs, they go back to the extra deck. When I tribute them for Disc, they go back to the extra deck, and then I use Disc and summon more. And then when they're destroyed by Disc at the end phase, they get sent to the extra deck, and I can summon them again. So, you neg, but you're going to get them back later. I mean, they'll be weaker because they'll be special summoned, so they'll lose 500 attack and defense. But you get them back. So you summon your your clip up monsters, you tribute them for this, and then next turn, you pendulum summon them right back to the freaking field. And jump the hell out of your opponent with this 3,000 monster. God, Konami, like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? So, I, I, and, that's not, and then it's not even considering its last effect, you know? Just, you know, just the, the minus 500 attack and defense for all special summon monsters, like, that, that hurts too, you know? The only reason why Star Eater is safe is because, you know, it's it's unaffected when it's summoned, so that's good, so it's blocked from that, but, you know, every other, sh every other monster is just minus it, and it's unaffected, by spells, traps, and monsters' effects. And it's just like, you made an Egyptian god that's easier to summon and more powerful than a freaking Egyptian god. Except an Egyptian god can actually kill us. If you can get an Egyptian god out, that is.
but god, so powerful. And the last effect, it just makes your opponent neg every single one of your turns. You know, you go ahead and your opponent sends a monster on their field or in their hand to the graveyard, just whoop, whoop, whoop. Your shit's gone. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So powerful. So, like I said, unless you are playing something that can whip out Excalibur, something that can whip out Star Eater, or Bujins, game one, you're fucked. Game one, you are fucked, the fuck, fucked. You know, I play Constellar, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I, I can't, I can't EM. I can't EM. I can't EM. You know, usually my go-to run-over card that I would re rely on to get over something that's strong would be Peresipe, who would go up to 3,400 during the demo step. But that wouldn't even work because I just lost the 500, like, even with my effect, I would only be at 29, which is not strong enough. Not including the fact that whatever the monster's in the Pendulum Zone, it could be, you know, one of them that increases the, all the, the cleave up monsters by 300, or decrease your monsters by 300. So there is even a bigger gap. So this monster could be even 33. And if it's 33, then starter is fucked. Even Star Eater is fucked. Excalibur is even... Is he fucked? No, he's still strong enough. He's still strong enough. You know, and Bujins... They're still, they're still, they're still good. But main deck wise, you're screwed. You're screwed. You might as well scoop it the hell up. They play this, they get this out on you. You scoop it up. Go to game two. So, like I said, this is gonna change the way that the game is played. So some side deck cards that you could maybe consider to go against this. Um, I think Mega Capital G already did a video on it, and I guess I'll link his link in the description. Some of them are interesting. Some of them are like, okay, I can see that. I can see that. Um. One of them actually interesting that my friend actually um, thought up is uh, instead of injection fairly where you pay two thousand, you could just run copycat at copy his attack and then crash into him. That that sounds like a pretty good good idea. As a constellar player, and this is me just personally as a constellar player, I would probably go the Cyber Dragon route, because Cyber Dragon already has kind of synergy with my deck, being able to, you know, level 5 lights, so I can just go special summon, and then this will be a machine, and then if I Pendulum Summon other Quiroth monsters, I can go ahead and just fuse into uh, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, and Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, you know, for all the machines, it could be stronger than even, you know, another one that's being summoned, you know, so if they go ahead and, you know, summon this, and then Pendulum Summon a whole bunch of their, you know, other uh, Clay Pop monsters, and have like, you know, like, you know, this and, you know, three or four others on the field, if I can, you know, survive that turn, I can just go special summon Cyber Dragon, go ahead and use 6,000 beater. So, that's probably the route I'll probably go with. So, I never thought that, you know, bringing back Cyber Dragon with Cyber uh, Fortress again would ever be, you know, a relevant play, but that might be it. You know, because that's, that's probably a really good choice, because you actually don't neg, you actually get a bang for your buck, you know. You actually get to go ahead and use one of your monsters and one of their monsters minimum to go ahead and turn into a monster of your own. So you actually don't neg. So I think that's maybe uh, the best route for handling this because I, I definitely have a feeling. And that's a good side for just uh, Clay Pots in general because they have a problem getting over, um, you know, 2100 unless they have uh, Skill Drain. If they don't have Skill Drain, then they can't deal with beaters. They really can't. So uh, <coughs> turn all their Quill Ops into... Uh, Cyber uh, a Fortress, and they don't have Skill Drain, and that's pretty much GG for them, so that's what I would probably be citing, so I'll probably be picking up Fortress and, you know, and some Cyber Dragons up, uh, so, and trying to make room in my side deck for that, because, yeah, I'll go ahead and side out some of my extra deck cards, because they're not going to be that useful against this, are they? <laughs> So, you know, people are like, oh, we can just hit with black one. No, you can't. Oh, I can just, you know, finish the shit. No, you can't. You can't do that. You can't do this. You can't do that. You just can't. You can't eat them. And then people are like, oh, uh, force back. You know, when they summon it, you can just force it back. Okay, but then they'll just summon it next turn because when clear off monsters or clear off monsters are tributed, they go to extra deck. So you can just summon them again and tribute it again. So you stalled out for one turn. Congratulations. You negged to stall out for one turn. Like that, hmm. Mm, or you can solemn warning it if you got it, or you can solemn advice it if you got it. But yeah, you know, and who's not to say that they won't have you know wire taps and royal decrees? You don't know, you know. Just shake your damn opponent's hand. It's just gonna be so good, you know. If you're in a light deck, you got honest. Hope you get honest, because if you don't, mm, you're gonna get it. Stall. <laughs> you know, people are like, oh, hands like nope. Uh, artifacts, no. Trap, 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 hold nightmare, no. Just, just a whole bunch of no, 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 no with this damn card. It's just too damn good. Like, this. This is broke. This is broke. I'm sorry. This card is broke. It's, oh, God. I'm, I'm not ready. My body isn't ready. Because this card is going to get us. 
He's gonna lay. He's gonna. He's gonna take your deck. He's gonna lay you down on the table. He's gonna caress you. No, he's not even gonna caress you. He's gonna caress you like say, like, "Damn, Cleapot Killer, can I get? Can I? Can I get wind and dine first? You wanna put a ring on his finger? Because God, can I? Can I, can can we at least cuddle before I get fucked? Because <laughs> this is this is what's gonna happen. You're not even ready. He 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 cut off. Cleapot Killer. He don't even put the condom on. He just goes raw. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but seriously, this card, tell me what you guys think, tell me of some ways that you can side or main deck to get around this card, please tell me, let's go ahead and have a conversation about it, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, card review, thank you for watching, thank you for all the support, I will see you guys next time on Thursday with another card, thanks for watching.